Hello, everybody, and welcome to this Whistle Stop Wednesday tour of the A to Z database. This this uh, workshop is going to be recorded, but I will um, and, and be sent to you uh, by email if you can't attend or to refresh what has been um, what has been uh, told during this uh, last during the session. Um, but I will uh, tell everybody who has not been able to make it that there are some ambient noises of traffic going on behind me. So you might be hearing a, uh, a bus or a, or some um, uh, transport some vehicles behind uh, me because I'm in a room that has a lot of windows. So please excuse the noise beforehand. Um, it's better than the noise I would have had if I was in my original room, which was construction. So um, just forgive the noise. Uh, and I will also remind everyone to please mute, mute yourself. Um, so that way um, the ambient noise doesn't come through on your end either. Um, today we are going to be talking, like I said, about the A to Z uh, databases, um, because uh, this is a, some place. This will be a place for you to get to know place uh, uh, other locations that could be helpful through your research um, here and getting information for different uh, resources that could be available. Um, before we begin, I would like you to put in the chat box um, so, like a major or your uh, your major or a paper that you're working on that you have that you might want to find some information on or um, maybe a class that's coming up next semester or a class that you are in right now that you are kind of trying to find some information on or if not you're just curious then you could put nothing on if you're if you are just curious about what this workshop has to offer. I will give you a few minutes to put in the chats in the chat box what what kind of areas we're going to look at because I'll try to find the some relevant databases to help you out too because this is kind of going to be sort of self-crafted towards what you would um, want to have uh, look at. So, so I'll give you a minute. I'm seeing nothing come through the screen, so I'll wait. I'll I'll start. I'll get started, and if you decide you want to put a, a, a an area of interest that you want me to concentrate on, just feel free to put it in the chat box. Okay. So when you are in the Eastern Gateway Community uh, College page, I'm going to stop my actual video portion of this, so we can get a nice full screen of this. Um, and when you're in the Eastern Gateway Community College webpage, I will direct you to the fact that there are several places where you can um, get to the library. One is through the Students tab over here to Library Resources. You can go to Library over here in this area. You can go to, okay, there's a chat, uh, English and Intermediate Accounting. Okay, thank you. Um, library will be over here. Um, or you can go about us, an online library, or there is an actual icon in your student portal area. When you click one of those, uh, those, those four areas where you can get to the library page, um, this will be the page that will come up. Today, what we will be focusing on is this icon over here, just exclusively the things that were within this icon. One, so we could click on this, and here, this will lead you to a page called A to Z databases list. Now I'm going to explain why this is kind of, why, why this area exists. We are, as a, an institute, uh, as, a, as a library at Eastern Gateway Community College are part of a consortium of libraries across the state of Ohio, both public and private, um, and be it, which is called OhioLink. Because we have our part of this consortium, we have significant buying power, and we are able to buy into several databases, which are a part of the, uh, uh, which are part of this thing called EBSCOhost. And EBSCOhost is a large parent company that's that hosts, hence the name, various databases that are subject specific. 
So if they have a subject for people who are in nursing, they have subjects for people who are in healthcare in general, they have subjects for people who are in the business field or in sociology. And it be, there is a wide range of what kind of subjects there are. Now, as an institution, we also have bought into several databases that are separate from EBSCOhost. For example, Nexus Uni, which is be, which is good for the people in the paralegal fields, the uh, healthcare the um the, the healthcare fields might find something of interest in there when it comes to researching drug companies. Um, people in the business field might find it interesting to research business uh, and and do business I um research and um and market industry research in there. Um, there's also other databases that will also help you find information about this, about whatever subjects you need. So um, uh, many, sub uh, many subjects, I should say. And um, one of the things that I will say is that what a database is. Now, a database is for people who are, un un uh, who are unfamiliar with the term, is a, is a, is an air, is a container, is a, is a, virtual container of articles or ebooks or data uh, information a, a, a base for data that where um you can get various pieces of information on so that's what a database is so that's why um what we have is all of this all of this uh information stored in um and stored in the EBSCO host cloud that will can be sent sent to you in their in their database and um when you come up with this page, this is kind of a new screen. This is one of the reasons why I, I wanted to um, make sure that I hosted this workshop today um, rather soon because we did change the interface. So the, the video or the things that we have have changed slightly. Um, you can search by a title or the keyword of a database, or you can search by the subjects that are that the key that the database would um um, fall under, you could search the, through types. For example, the types I will cover right now are uh, different, what, what that uh, database has within it. Does it only have abstracts or indexes? Abstracts are just basically what is listed, uh, at what is the basic information for, uh, for, for an article. Index is just a listing of whatever articles are available inside a certain platform. So there's really no full, full text in those abstract and index databases. So they'll pr probably be less useful to you if you're a student, if you are, uh, if you are a fully virtual student. If you're looking for a, a books database, this, this will, um, what, things will, that will contain only physical books here. There's an eBooks database that will have databases that will contain nothing but eBooks. We have some facts and stats uh, databases that just little, quick little factoids. We have full text articles areas. We have OER databases and open access to databases and periodicals and magazines and a streaming media database, a couple of streaming media databases as well. Over all of these types, we are covered, we cover 198 databases. So that's a lot to choose from. And they are organized, as you can see, alphabetically. That's why it's called A to Z. And we can skim, skim through a little bit of what's available. If you are in your um, English class, you will be um, asked to write a page. If you are doing your English 101 or 102 course next semester, as I can see one of the students has responded as, as such, um, one of the participants in this uh, in this workshop has responded as such. It, you will you will be asked to write a paper on a, on a, on on a subject of I think your choice. So you will be taking databases through here that can be anything from Academic Search Complete, which is an EBSCO host database, to anything from maybe even the Alt Health Watch if you decide to choose a paper that is health related or even something that is, if you're choosing something about psychology, um, maybe uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say, uh, or uh, for example, sorry, business, let's go to business first, business source complete, which is again, another place that might be good for accounting. So let's click on this one and we can, we can click on this one and you'll see what the, uh, what subjects this, this covers business accounting and professional office management, facts and stats, EBSCO, the vendor. And this is giving you uh, 
idea of what the journal, what the uh, database covers, what kind of areas. And then how to access, you just click this bl big blue button over here to access the database. And it will ask you to log in using your EGCC email account, which you will do. And it will take you directly to the search screen. So um, with accounting, I'm going to do just, I'm going to type in financial accounting. And accounting and reporting. Let's go through here and use that subject area. And this will lead you to um, full text articles about the eternal debate over conservatism and prudence, a historical perspective on financial accounting theory, uh, on the asset liability and revenue, revenue expense tension in financial accounting. And um, what and this will look exactly like the screen you would get if you were doing a full so if you were doing a full text uh, a search all search in in the uh, gateway search platform. I won't be covering that gateway search platform area at this present moment, but this looks um, exactly like that. And what you will notice is over here is where you would have your results hit all of the results that are. Um, of interest to uh, the student. Um, we also have over here, all of the places where you can refine your results. You can refine it by full text, or if you need a peer reviewed article, you can also um, update it by the publication date area over here. And you can scroll down and look through the uh, articles, how financial accounting screws up HR, for example, the effective managerial adverse experience on financial reporting, and so on and so forth. So these are actually full text articles, as um, you can see, that will you can click on and uh, lead you to uh, the PDF full text, for example, here about uh, is the uh, the um, actual article itself. And you can download it, print it, uh, cite it if you wish click the site button and you can go to the APA 7th edition and highlight, copy and paste it into um, your, your reference page if you so choose and find it useful. So that is um, one of the EBSCOhost database areas. Um, I'm going to go through a few other places of use for people in um, different fields. Um, we have, uh, for example, I will kind of go through each of these and kind of talk about many of these and go through which is the most useful for uh, whichever field. Um, this is a academic search complete is a generalized one, just having many areas of academic study. Um, so it's, it covers practically ev uh, practically uh, everything you can think under the sun. It's just a generalized database that has a lot of different interdisciplinary areas. So this one, if you want to use this for your English paper, this one will be useful for you to use. And this uses also the EBSCOhost um, interface. African American poetry is, focuses exactly on that uh, from the 1760s to 1900. So if you are going to be in, Eng in an English class that focus, and you want to do a paper on Phyllis Wheatley, for example, she would be a we would find her in here. Agricola is for um, is for uh, technical reports with agriculture. Alt Health Watch is for um, alternate health care issues. American History and Life is, again, another linked full text area that covers the culture of the United States. This is good for American history and so on and so forth. I will point out only a few other ones, art and architecture. As you can see, a lot of these ones that are, that are listed have um, kind of self-explanatory meanings be behind what um, the the title of the database means and what you may be able to find there. There's some that are like art, XIV is a free distribution service uh, to fields in physics, mathematics, computer science, quantitative biology, quantitative finance, statistics, electrical engineering, system science. Um, so this one might again be useful for people in um, in uh, in the psychology field. It's an open access. You could access that database same way by accessing this database. And, um, and you can go through the print archive in physics, mathematics. So quantitative finance, you can click on this, or computational finance, click this quantitative finance area. And you can find uh, different things according to, um, you could browse or 
um, find new things on general finance. Let's click that and click that and you will find articles about uh, changes in risk, application and short to memory of house buyers when the market is hot and you can click PDF full text area and that will lead you towards uh, the uh, the uh, document that you will need for the uh, for this uh, for the, the what you the article that you would need. Um, so again, uh, that's just that is not an EBSCO host uh, hosted database. So that's why it looks quite different than what you're used to. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of these are um, self-explanatory. There's almost always uh, a, a a description underneath about what each of these mean. Um, and I will point out a few more that might be useful for students and a couple of cool ones that I always like to point out to students because they're they're very easily, very easy to help students with certain um, issues, with, their, with certain, re certain research areas. Um, one of the things I like to point out is culture grams, because that's really new and I'm, I'm still playing with it. I think it's kind of fun is if you are doing something, maybe if you are wanting to research a certain country or a certain state or a certain province in Canada, you click this and explore and say you want something in South America and you want to research something about Paraguay, for example, and click Paraguay and it will lead you to information about the country of Paraguay. So it's just a little bit of an interesting little thing to uh, to look at when you're if you're doing research on a certain country. We have uh, datacensus.gov to uh, which is uh, connected to the U.S. Census Bureau. So that way you can scroll, you can explore uh, what census data looks like. We have uh, University Press eBooks. So these this is uh, eBooks from Columbia, Harvard, California. Some of the great, some of the big named colleges in the United States. Their their university presses, and this is a good place to uh, click if you want to get some eBooks on those on on various topics, including sciences, humanities, and so on and so forth. I'm going to um, scroll down a bit because I want to get to a few other areas. And you can see it does end around the E's. So you just have to advance the button. And we're going to go through a couple of the areas um, with it comes to Gale, because I think Gale is a pretty cool area. But we're also going to go to um, Films on Demand. I'm going to click on this. And it's a streaming service through, that we have through our uh, library. And you can access the database here. And say that you are in, again, your English class and you've decided you wanted to do something on um, on uh, something like the Civil War or something. Let me just restart this database. Again, it's acting a little silly right now. Yeah, there it goes. We just have to do it again. Um, you're doing something on, um, let's say Benjamin Franklin. Let's, let's, let's use him. We'll type. And you can play, you type in his name, and will lead you to uh, various docu the documentaries about him, the the actual Ken Burns documentary about him, or Benjamin Franklin, uh, No Rest for the Wicked, Protestantism and Economics, uh, so on and so forth. Or if you are wanting to do, um, since I do have a, a finance and economics person here. In this segment, here's one on Alexander Hamilton and uh, how maybe you could find something about his uh, his building of the uh, of the federal bank as well. Um, so you can find information on that. And I will close out of here. And you could watch the video as uh, streaming. Uh, anything like you just click on the video and it will open up on a new screen and it will be like streaming it from um, a, like a YouTube platform. This is I call this academic YouTube basically. Um, then we can go back to, uh, I will go back to Gale in context of opposing viewpoints. And this is also the probably the most useful one for your English 101 course, because you'll probably be doing a paper in one of these more common topics. So what you can do is click here, access database, and it will give you some basic information he must give you a, a compendium of information on a certain topic. So what you can do is one of the two places you can do is you can, you can do a search in this search box over here, 
or you can browse issues by clicking on this browse issues box. And you can scroll through here and you can get information on a lot of different uh, top, different topics that are as uh, as uh, uh, wide as as, as 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 very wide topic area. So um, let's let's click on one of these school funding. Click on school funding um, and you can it will give you an overview of what the topic means. And it will give you featured viewpoints, some ideas about what kind of uh, what what is what is believed uh, with this field. You can get academic journal articles about school funding here. You can get reference information and different and other viewpoints and infographics as well. So you can um, see what kind of information um, some uh, just a, like a site, uh, a, a, a visual aid. Um, you can get images and videos and audio, and you can see, excuse me, you can see that it already has a lot of the research kind of done for you in the area of school funding. So just, it, so it, it practically, it, it's kind of an easy button for something that is such a big, huge topic, such as school funding or um, Jared, or gig, the gig economy, for example, since I know there is a, an, again a, a, finance, a finance person in this in this uh, um, workshop, um, uh, something about the the gig economy and talking about that. So, like I said, it pretty much does what is uh, uh, does give you all of that that information around that area, and kind of does kind of does the work for you so it makes it a little easier to find information on a topic that is kind of something that you think might be a pretty common topic or you could like again search maybe i will do um so uniforms and you could click here and there's this, again you could there's the unit there's a featured videos and academic journals as well. So you can find information with that it just by typing it in, in the advanced search area um, too. So that's two places where you can find information. Another place that is useful uh, is Gail, Peter, Gail presents Peterson's test and career prep. And it allows you to do, um, uh, it allows you to uh, have get career skills, build up your career skills when it comes to um, uh, improve your score. I'm just gonna go over here. Some foundational skills, uh, high school, college prep, international, grad school. You could also look over here to find a school, explore careers or vocational test prep. Um, accountant and auditor, for example, this is an exam offering you will find three complete practice tests to help you ace your accountant exam. So learn more, and then you can select this. Um, and I'll have to, you would have to log in, but I, and then it will allow you to do that. But I don't really feel like logging in at this present moment with my own username and, and password. So um, I will, uh, but again, it will just give you uh, uh, an idea of that you can do this um, here um, and give you uh, a place to practice um, accounting and. Uh, and allow you to do that. Gale eBooks is a place where you can get our own um, owned eBooks. So you can click on here and you can find business, for example, and scroll through here and actually read business plans handbook or business ethics or business and finance. And you can click on those books and look through them as well. That will be useful if you everyday finance um and that will be and that these are the book ebooks we own so these are something that that we um know can be available to you there's a few other places i'm going to explore then i'll open it up to questions um uh one of the other places that i will i will mention is are these um little icons i i will barely touch on them it just they're just uh, little keys to what kind of resources can be available in each database. Um, excuse me. Um, for example, again, you can search by subjects. Um, say if you are, I'm going to just do the sociology one for now, but you is, could look through and say, okay, I need architecture 
ones or I want to eat business ones or business accounting ones. There are specific ones for accounting here too. And you can click that and then search. And there are all the um, good ones for um, economic, for, um, for, for business and accounting. I will clear the filter and you can also go through. Um, I'm going to just uh, click on this and, and show you with two more things also one through um, what is possible um, in, uh, in the actual uh, area of searching. I'm gonna go social sciences and search. And I'm going to use sociological collection, access database. And I'm going to do uh, just a search for social media. And then, uh, for example, if you are wanting more than just this one database, you can choose the database by subject by just clicking this and having all the psychologic, psychology and sociology databases selected. OK. And again. social media, and it will come up with all of the different articles um, in all of the databases that cover psychology and sociology about the topic of mental health and social media. Um, so that was one of the little things. And if you, again, if you want to search by title or keyword and you want to see, okay, I wanna find all the business ones, uh, business ones over here. And this will be good for to find all of the ones that actually have um, business news, small business reference center, sage business cases. This is a good one for if you are um, uh, doing something in uh, 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 wanting to find business cases. I'm going to touch touch on that one just slightly. Um, and you can search by uh, counting, for example. And you will find different. Uh, account and then you can find different uh, cases and different things about the accounting field. For example, um, the New England's Biolabs balancing solar power and stakeholder engagement a case about that and sustainability. So it, it, it leads you or lotteries and sports betting fun or predatory you click on that and it will lead you to the uh, case and author interview, download transcript case scenario and different um, different things about that. We do have a video available, um, recorded video that will go, I think goes through this. So you might wanna check that out if that is the, uh, this you find this, uh, this particular database useful. Um, and then Nexus Uni, of course, uh, is another good one. And if you want to find uh, good, um, Some good uh, company info or company dossier. You can click on menu, company dossier. And you can type, find a company. I'm just gonna put Disney. And Walt Disney, Walt Disney Company over here, the headquarters. And we'll create a, a company overview of, the, uh, of that company for you. Um, just give it a minute. And, uh, but that, but like I said, there's a lot of places available for students to find information on in different um, subjects. Give it a minute, <laughs> but yeah, it should generate a report as well. It should generate something that should be helpful. Go back one in. Well, it, again, I, I, you can see, um, I try not to, uh, it's, it's starting to work, which might be helpful. There we are. Um, you can see the financial overview, uh, company hierarchy, you look at their stocks and how their stock is doing right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we can look at the financial overview of, of the company and processing request. And uh, please wait. 
uh, you can look through um, assets and liabilities, income, cash flow, and different um, different aspects of the company. So you have practically like their their entire pro their entire profile available to you too. Um, uh, this is very useful for public. Pu this this area is very is practically only useful for uh, uh, publicly traded companies. So if it's like a Disney or like an Amazon, you'll find information on it. But if it's your local mom and pop practically not. So just letting you know that it's, uh, it's, it's, it's just a very good place to find information on publicly traded companies. If you've got to do a financial profile, for example, of Disney or of Amazon or of God forbid right now, Twitter. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, that's a good place to have information. And with that, I, after going through a couple of places that will show you how the depth of it works, and the, I will also point out O'Reilly is it also a good place to find um, accounting books as well. Just click on that and you can search through their platform too to find um, good information on business fields. Um, with that, um, I am done with my presentation. Um, do you have any further questions to ask me before we end for the day? And if this at this point, if you want to uh, unmute yourself and ask the question verbally, I will be fine with it because uh, because sometimes it might be a little longer. So either type in the uh, chat box or or you can unmute yourself and ask the question verbally. Give you a, a few more minutes to type if you want to, and if not, then I will thank you for attending. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, thank you're welcome. Thank you so much for thank you. You're welcome. And I and and um. So if that's all, I will say um. I will say uh, have a great day and expect the. Uh, the recording of this to enter to come into your uh, your email box um, by end of day to, by end of, of day today Eastern Eastern Daylight Time. Um, have a great afternoon and talk and and uh, hopefully see you next see you guys next semester for more for more uh, workshops uh, that we are going to be offering. <laughs>